Do you want to send attachments to your leads through KV Core? Let me show you how. Hi, I'm Shane Voris with EXP Realty. And one of the great tools that's provided to us by our brokerage at EXP is KV Core. You don't have to be with EXP to use the KV Core platform. I know some of you are with other companies and using it. So what I was what I wanted to do was to send an attachment to anybody that went on and filled out a form on a landing page that I created through KV Core. You know, what I did was um, I wanted to provide a checklist for preparing your home for sale for any prospective sellers. And I couldn't figure out a good way to do that. Um, there's a lot of KV Core training online. I've watched a lot of it. It's possible that I've missed something. But here's what I just figured out. So um, I went ahead and created a document. And I just used a, a word alternative for that. LibreOffice is what I use. Um, so I went ahead and created a little checklist. And here's what that checklist looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, but rather than put this in an email that goes out when somebody registers on the landing page, I wanted to provide them with an attachment that they could download, something they could easily print off. Obviously, they could do that with an email. So I went ahead and exported my checklist as a PDF. Save that here. Close out of that for now. Don't need that either. Okay. Um, and then what I did here, going into KV Core under Lead Engine, click that. And first thing I did was to create a landing page here. Go ahead and start building. So if you're not familiar with it, this is what you are presented with here when you go to create a landing page. It's got a template for you. There's a bunch of different things. So for me, I went ahead and I selected the video lead option. And uh, we don't want to watch that. Pause that there. Um, so I created the video lead page, which adds a video here, as you can see. And all the text up here, you can change. You just click and... You can delete what's there and oops. And then there you go. You can change any of that stuff there. Just don't double click because it'll disappear. But you can also go ahead and pick whatever background you want. There's a couple of different ones in there, so um, this is what I ended up with right here. This is what I created. I went ahead and for the video box, I went ahead and put that video in that I was talking about that I created for the checklist. So getting your home ready for sale, tips and tricks to get the most out of your home sale. That's what I talk about in the video. Um, but obviously we want people to want the checklist. If they want the checklist, they have to come down here and put in an email address. Click get the list now. I'll just uh, put my work email address in there. Get the list now is what I wanted the button to say. So you click on that and so once you click on that, I've set it up to redirect. So once you click on that, I've set it up to redirect leads back to the instant home valuation page, it's kind of like the Zillow's estimate. If you put your address in there, it'll give you a quick estimate of your home's value. And in the meantime, what has happened here in the background is that your information or who it, the leads information has gone into KV Core. Excuse me. And I know that they, and I know that that lead has come from that landing page that we were just on right here. Part of that landing page, I forgot to talk about this. Uh, this is back to the setup page. You've got a space here where you can put hashtags. So I went ahead and put a specific hashtag for that landing page for the checklist, so I know uh, what they landed on, what they came for. So once somebody has click get the list on that other page. They go into the system here with their email address and any other information that they've provided. And 
what I was trying to figure out that wasn't clear was how to send them a PDF file or Word document, whatever you wanted to send them, um, as a separate attachment. So going back here, I wanted that also I wanted that to send out automatically as soon as someone registers so that it doesn't need my constant input. So what I did, and let's see, going back to Yep, going to the marketing autopilot section of KV Core, um, go to Smart Campaign, and you're going to have to create a new one to make this work. So what I did was uh, over here, click Add Campaign. Sorry, my computer's going slow right now. So you click Add Campaign, you get a pop-up here. It says to start campaign when blah blah blah. Um, for this, we want advanced trigger, hashtag, hashtag is, and checklist seller lead. So that's, that's the hashtag I created before for that landing page. So what's going to happen here is once somebody registers on there, that hashtag gets applied to their entry in the database. And so that's going to trigger what comes next. That's going to trigger the smart campaign. So for this, they're a seller. That's who we're going after. Click next. Name the campaign. Checklist seller. You can put a description. Actually, I think it makes you put a description there. So next, blah, blah, blah. Review and add. So here you can review everything. And since I've already done this, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel you would want to click Add Campaign. So, yes, I'm sure. So let's go into that campaign that I created earlier. So, by default, there's not going to be anything here under Campaign Actions. You're going to have to create that. And for that, we want to go up here to Templates. And again, when you go in here by default, there's not going to be any templates. Um, for what you want, you're going to have to create your own green button again, email template because that's what we're trying to work with, and same kind of deal. You want to name your template, getting your home ready to sell checklists, it, they know that they're getting what they asked for and then go ahead and compose some kind of canned email here to go out to those people. Um, now, where I struggled before is there is nowhere, at least that I've found here, that allows you to attach a file to these emails. So there's a way around that. What I did was, uh, go back to my other browser here, I went into Google Drive, but this should work the same whether you use Dropbox, Google Drive, um, you know any of the cloud storage services where you can share files after you upload them. So, um, go to the right, right account here. So, all you do here is new file upload upload whatever file it is that you want to send out with the email and put that in your, your Google Drive or, or your cloud storage. So um, once that is uploaded to cloud storage, go ahead and share. And you don't want to share it with anybody specific, obviously. You want the shareable link. Get shareable link, copy link. And then what I did as well, just to make it a little cleaner, was to make a bit.ly, uh, a link shortener, so it doesn't have to be that one, it could be anything. So go ahead and create the short link, paste the share, paste the shared link to the Google Drive in there. All right, so there's our short URL, copy that, and then go back to KV Core with that shortened URL to the shared document. And Hi. And then there is a hyperlink button, so click that and put in your URL. 
If you want to, you can call it something else or make it display a something other than the URL itself, but we're gonna leave it like that for now. So there you go. Um, you've got a link to the document in this email. So once you've got that all saved, click add template and you are good to go. Yes, I'm gonna close that. So here is what I created earlier. I'm gonna edit so you can see it. So just thanks them for coming to the website for the checklist and letting them know that there's a link below. They click that, they can download the PDF. And um, so that's pretty straightforward. So that's all set up now. Yes, I'm gonna close. Um, and that's pretty much it. it. It wasn't that difficult. It's just a couple of little steps and pulling things from a few different places. So uh, again, going back to this landing page, if you watch the video on YouTube, I've got a link to this page. So that's where it's gonna take you to download the document. Of course, you have to put in your email or I can't email it to you, but um, that's a great way to do it. I believe you can also set this up for text if they give you a cell phone but most of the time people just give an email. So that's what I went ahead and set it up as. So anyway, that's it. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, if you've got questions about KV Core that I can help with, let me know. Uh, questions about eXp Realty or just the real estate business in general, I'm happy to help. But this is a little tip if you are an agent using KV Core and trying to send any kind of uh, document file. So thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you next time.